Once again, we're staying in the lovely Austrian ski resort of Seoul. But this time, we're at the Franzelhof Hotel, just a short walk from the town centre. Well, as you can see, there was plenty of snow in mid-January, perfect for the youngsters on toboggans, as well as the more seasoned skiers in our midst. Devi and Helen decided to spend some time with a local instructor called Tony, who believed in the idea of starting a ski holiday by going back to basics. Both of them found these simple exercises very rewarding getting them off to a good start. It wasn't long before they were settled in and tackling steeper runs, as Devi shows here. Immediately followed by, well, poetry in motion. And it's uh, minus 11 degrees apparently, but lovely snow conditions. I've had one fall today, but uh, not too bad. Could have been worse. We might have time to get a bus. A bus. A bus. A bus. cold here, about minus 11, but I tell you what Jackson and Rupert, you'd love it here. Also do a toboggan ride where you can sit with daddy on the toboggan and have a ride down this slope. So it's really pretty good. Well, it was Lizzie's birthday on the 14th of January and we all enjoyed a celebratory meal at the Krummerai. The following day was Devi's birthday and needless to say, an excuse for another meal out. As can be seen, food and wine featured heavily, with one of my favourites being at Agnes. In order to examine our skiing techniques, it can be useful to review some footage in slow motion. Not much wrong with this footage here. Going well. And then it's time for another lunch break. A good time to top up the carbohydrate and protein levels.
the week shot by so quickly and we were soon on our way back home. Although we were already missing our Yorkshire friends, it was lovely to be home for Sunday lunch with the family. You might have enjoyed that, Ash. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pudding all the way from Yorkshire. See what it tastes like. Look at that. This is a video of Ashley trying to stay within the lines. <laughs> <laughs>